Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. A COVID attendance policy is creating some debate at the U.S. Open. The good news is full capacity crowds will be allowed. In fact, the U.S. Open is going to be the first Grand Slam since the pandemic began to host 100% crowds for all main draw sessions. The bad news, that is not the case for the qualifying rounds. No fans will be allowed in for that, which is a shame because it shuts out people who can't afford the pricey tickets. Traditionally, U.S. Open qualifying has been free. In fact, it's often called tennis's top Grand Slam value, letting fans visit the Open, watch qualifying matches, and see the stars practice up close, maybe even grab a selfie, all free of charge. Some say it's smart to limit crowds to keep everybody safe and healthy, especially with what we've seen in recent weeks. Coco Gauff, Dan Evans, and Joanna Conta all forced out of the Olympics after testing positive for COVID. Remember, qualifying is played the week before the U.S. Open starts, which is on August 30th. Qualifying players are in action, other players are on site practicing, and staff is working to get everything ready. So, people who support the decision say it's the U.S. Open doing the right thing. However, critics are calling out a double standard saying if safety is the reason, it makes no sense the tournament would be at full capacity for fans buying tickets, but not to those who choose to go to the free sessions. They say if officials are so concerned about safety, why would huge crowds be welcomed the following week? Those same critics say it's just about the money. The pros offered mixed reactions when asked about this decision. Riley Opelka, for example, backed the U.S. Open, saying he didn't want to bite the hand that feeds him, he says economics matter, pointing out that the U.S. Open revenue funds programs for recreational players all over the nation and also helps provide American pros like him with coaching. Opelka says there is nothing negative he would say because the organization has changed his life for the better. Stevie Johnson looks at it another way. He says the decision to not allow crowds into qualifying is a contradiction in the COVID rules. He says it's asinine that everybody knows the risks and they'll do what they want to do. That's what makes America, America. Everybody has a choice to do whatever they want. If they want to come to watch tennis, they should be allowed to. If they feel unsafe, they shouldn't. Tennis Sandgren also supports fans at qualifying, saying it just comes down to consistency and common sense. He says, if you're allowed to be there for the main draw, why not be allowed in for the qualifying? If you're going to do one, then you should do the other. The U.S. Open took a big hit in 2020, playing without fans. The USTA has had to downsize staff because the sport was shut down for six months. They are still trying to stabilize, just like a lot of other businesses. The U.S. Open is pumping out financial support for the USTA that keeps the tennis programs, the clinics, leagues, and educational efforts alive all over the country. Take away the revenue from the U.S. Open, and those programs could be in jeopardy. And perhaps handling crowds for a week who didn't pay to get in is just too costly right now. So should we criticize or give the U.S. Open a break for now because they're dealing with very difficult circumstances? What do you say? Where do you stand on this open and shut U.S. Open? Sound off in the comment section and we'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.